Hey, what's up, guys? It's Captain Card Magician back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to be teaching you three amazing card controls. So let's get into it. So this is what the first control looks like. So you can say stop wherever you like as I dribble right over here. Go ahead and remember that card. And now we'll just use it right about there. Push it all the way in. Snap. And it's on top. So here's how you can do that card control. So you can dribble through as I did in the performance or you can even riffle or you can even give the card some swing cards and wherever the spectator says stop, you want to out jog the card and put it at the bottom of this pile. One more time, dribble wherever the spectator says stop, out jog and put it at the bottom of this packet but out jog to the side. You want to show the spectator the card like this and you're going to make it seem like you're just taking this card and then losing it somewhere inside the center. But what is actually happening is you're taking this card along with the card over here. So basically you're going to align this card with this packet and now your middle and ring finger are actually going to drag this card in this direction. So this card gets aligned with the packet and these two fingers drag this card just like that. And that card is already the switched card. So you can just put it in the bottom or put it over here and put the rest on top. And when you do it at full speed, that move is not visible at all. So dribble, show them the card, align it, that card, these two fingers take this card, put it in whatever you want, and the card is controlled to the top. So moving on to control number two, this is what it looks like. The spectator chooses a card. In this case, we have the three of diamonds. And now watch the three of diamonds as you just leave it right about there. It comes right on top. So here's how the second card control works. First, you have a card selected. Place it on top. And now you're going to get a pinky break under the bottom card. You can just do a pinky pull down. Now you're going to swing cut about half of the deck into the other hand and now using your middle and ring finger you're going to push the top card forward which is their selection and as you do that you're going to put this card the bottom card on top of this card so you first do that let go of the break just like that so you just put one card on top of it and you as and when you do that you're going to flip your hands and show them that it is their selection Square it up, there's actually one more card that you just put on top of it. And now you can again just do the one handed fan or you can just put it in the middle just like that. Push it in and your the card is controlled to the top of the deck. And now for the final control, this is what it looks like. As I riffle through, you can say stop wherever you like. Right there. Take a look at that card. And now we'll just leave it where it originally was, snap, is control to the bottom of the deck. So this card control actually uses a move called the glide. So first you start off with the riffle or the dribble, it doesn't matter. You're going to break the cards where the spectator says stop. Now this grip is similar to the middle grip. Actually this grip right now is the middle grip, but you want to rearrange your middle finger such that this part of your hand, just like that, the top portion of this finger is actually contacting this part of the deck. So you want the finger to, to more towards the front, just like that, so that this whole part is holding on to that card. This gives you a more sturdy grip because now what you're going to do is use your ring finger and your pinky finger and you're going to, going to be applying pressure so that this happens. One more time. This grip, extend your first finger so that the, whole, the top part of your finger is on the other side of the deck. Show them that card and with your ring and pinky finger, you're going to apply pressure in this direction so that the, the card finally flicks off your thumb just like that. And with practice, you'll be able to get it in no time so again. And this is just to apply a firm grip because you won't be able to do the move in this position. It will just be a very weird position. So the middle finger is very important again pressure so that this happens and now once you are in this position what your other hand is doing is opening up these two fingers 
so that you can receive this card so that this card actually goes under this packet and then everything gets squared up so you're here and and you're going to do the move so you show them the card and as you come down you're going to do the move and this part of your hand is just going to hide this so the spectator is not going to see that just like that and now these two fingers open up and you can even open up these two fingers if you want just like that and this card goes under this packet and then everything gets squared up and that card gets controlled to the bottom of the deck let's just quickly recapitulate this card control dribble have the card selected middle finger over here king of spades as you come down you do the move these two fingers open all these fingers open up to receive that card the card goes under and you have the card controlled so that's it for this video guys i really really hope that you enjoyed and if you did make sure to smash that subscribe button and give the video a like and as always i'll see you in the next one